So in this video, we are switching it up a little bit. Culture vulture. For those that don't understand the term, that's basically when somebody that's outside of your culture, for example, black community, you got hip hop, you got clove, you got <clears throat> all type of different things. You got the black community and you will have somebody that is white come and adopt and profit off of that culture so it's like a culture vulture right so i'm just been seeing over the internet last few days about is grant cardone a culture vulture i don't know where all these stuff come up with every blue moon but the clip i did see was him interviewing somebody or somebody was on his thing and he was like, man, Grant, you got a little swag in you. You can't be 100% white. He said, oh, man, you gave me the pass to say the N-word, man. If I could say the N-word, man, I just need the pass. It was like cringe worthy because he didn't need to say it. It didn't really make no sense. But do that make him a culture vulture? Now, I have read Grant Cardone books. I have <clears throat> friends that have spent money taking his courses. I'm familiar with Grant Cardone enough. Me personally, genuinely love everything he do, such as educate people on rich real estate. His grind, you can't really compare too many that's his age. Grant is like, damn, they're 70 years old. He look good for his age. Or I don't know how old he is, but he's older. For him to grind on all levels of social media, he's going to keep on doing it until we figure it out until it works. I completely respect all of that. I don't watch him too much, but I'm familiar with everything he does. When it comes down to you knowing his story, Grant Cardone, actually, let me tighten this up. That's a problem. Living in a country, you got to deal with all of these bumps. Grant Cardone, at a time in his life, he was on crack, coke, and everything, all the above. You know, so when you go from his story from no money to going on drugs, the bottom of the barrel drugs, to becoming rich, his relatability is always going to be closer towards the people that have identity with struggle, hard times, and unfortunately, that's the black community in America. So he's probably more relatable to me than a rich white person because Grant is a little cuckoo. He a little different. He ain't the same as everybody. He a little cuckoo. Now, yes, whenever he do his conferences, I see he usually pay black people consistently. He hire Kevin Hart to come out. He hire Jay-Z. He hire Steve Harvey. He hire the best people for his market and his, his analytics people. People want to see. Everybody want to see Rihanna at the Super Bowl, Beyonce at the Super Bowl. Nobody want to see Taylor Swift. It's not that we don't like Taylor Swift. It's just the culture, black culture is where it's at. For everything, all little white kids, they want to go see Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. They don't really want to see Post Malone. I'm just being honest. So I see that Grant take advantage of opportunities. And I don't know too many black people that are spending money for his courses or whatever it is. I think all people, I think white people do it too. So I don't see him building like a store, a liquor store, starting a, a hip hop label and using only black people to profit off of. That's when I think of a culture versus vulture. Somebody that come into your culture of what you're doing, whatever it's hip hop, whatever it is, we just gonna use hip hop as a example and you basically, or we, we can use sports. We don't never say these NFL owners are culture vultures. It's zero black NFL owners. They keep black people out of it. They hire a bunch of black people to do play football and they don't let them get any higher. In the NBA, we got one black owner. We don't say, man, that hey man, that coach is a culture vulture. And you could say, oh man, because they playing these players. Grant Cardone paid these entertainers that come out to his conferences. 
So in my opinion, I don't think he is a culture vulture. I believe he's a regular white person that that likes black people. That's more relatable. Because I remember I seen a clip I posted on my Facebook before. It was him and his wife. And the debate was his wife, she just a pure white chick. She don't, you tell she don't be around black people like that. So he's she was like, um, Samantha, whatever the black girl name, we just gonna call her Sam. Sam, do black people prefer to be called you you guys prefer to be called African American, right? And she was like, no, nah, just black. And Grant, like I told you. He like, black people don't want to be called African-American. We want to be called black. Keep it simple. And 90% of white people don't know that. It's like, yeah, I don't want to go pro-black and go on, go that level. But for him to know that, that show he's been hanging around black people and he, somebody corrected him. He like, oh, I learned something new. And he educated his wife. So he's definitely a white guy. He himself, he probably won't say N word and all that type of stuff. That don't make you a culture vulture. It can make you racist or something, but I don't, I just, I see him helping the black culture more of hindering the black culture. His book has helped me more than it hurt, hurted me. 10X is a book you definitely should read because it teach you how to take your level 10 times faster and better than where you at in ways how he done it. And it's relatable because it's not like he was rich or had special talents. He just worked hard and had a messed up life. Let me figure this thing on out. So I think he helped more than he hurt. What's your thoughts in the comments? Be honest. We could be transparent. Let's kick it.